Welcome back. A friendly reminder of Emily's podcast, Tribute to All Little Angels, is also found on Spotify, Amazon Music, Samsung Podcast, Podcast Index Audible, Listen Notes, RSS.com Community, iHeartRadio, Google Podcast. I want you to know I appreciate you listening. Part 5, Episode 7, July 20th, 2022. 7.40 a.m. I reply to Summer. I wrote my niece over the years, has talked with a few people about pictures. They had some pictures, but nothing to help us in the area, but in their area of the cemetery, which could play into this later on, especially for them. Thank you so much, Summer, and that would be awesome. The more we get it out there, the better. I will let you know as I find out anything. I worked on the podcast last night, my sister and I. She lives in beep, but a whiz on the computers. I got to try anything and everything, and I greatly appreciate all the help. Thank you, and you have a good day. After I sent the message to Summer, I got out of bed and checked my phone for any emails from the podcast last night. I did have one. It was asking me a few questions, and I wasn't sure if I was supposed to answer them or if they were from another podcast I had looked up yesterday. I sent Susie a message. 9.34 a.m. I sent the questions they wanted me to answer. I wrote, I have questions to answer. Do you have time real quick? Is this one for us or just where I was looking for information yesterday? Susie wrote, yes. I wrote, so I do, we have to answer them because it won't let me leave the page until I answer. I will call you. 9.36 a.m. I called Susie. She helped me answer the questions and we talked for about 20 minutes. I told her to have a good day and thank you. Susie said, I will call you after work. I said, all right. 11.38 a.m. Susie message. She wrote, I have my Zoom installed on my laptop. I wrote, yay. Okay, as soon as Madison gets back, she's going to do mine. And thank you again. Susie wrote, if anything else, we can video call and I can do it with you. I wrote, all right, if she needs help or she doesn't have time today, yes, you can show me how. And thanks, sister. Susie wrote, all right. 7.21 p.m., I messaged Samantha. I wrote, one more thought. How about if we start at the end and show the letters lately of them not knowing me, then the letter from them with my documents, then go into the story of over the years. Just another idea, start from the end. Samantha wrote, ooh, that could be suspenseful. 8.16 p.m., Susie called. I need to finish up a little bit of typing, so I told her I'd have to call her back. 8.21 p.m., I wrote back to Samantha. I wrote, I think so too. Keep them wanting to watch or listen. I'm definitely feeling happy about all of this. I'm excited. I'm clapping my hands. Yes. Yes. We are on our way, baby. Samantha wrote, yes. And that sounds like a great idea, Nanny. 8.26 p.m. I called Susie back. She said, hi. I said, hi, I'm calling you back. Susie said, all right. I have my Zoom installed. I said, Madison installed mine. She said, we didn't need a microphone because the microphone is already in my computer. She, Susie said, all right. She said, okay, there's a few things we need to do. I waited until she was ready. She asked me to do a few things on my computer and we were soon seeing each other. Hi, sister, I said. She taught me how to get on. She taught me how to find the page. She taught me a few other things about how to get to emails, the Zoom, and now we will wait for the podcast page to accept us. We had a free hour, I believe it was free, to Zoom with each other until it cuts us off. And it was so cool to see her like that. 
She asked me to put the pictures on a flash drive. I told her I will do that tomorrow. She said, all right, I have homework to do and you do too. I said, yes, I will get the pictures on a flash drive and then the pictures we are going to use, I will put them on a flash drive in order and numbered. She said, yes, yes, please do make sure they are in order and dated. I said, I will. We talked about other stuff that we will do on the podcast. And she said, I will be with you every step of the way. I said, gosh, I hope so. And it's getting late. We had been on the phone for over two and a half hours. When we were done, we said good night. And thank you, Susie, so much. July 21st, 2021. 2022, excuse me. When I first woke up this morning, my heart was heavy, then eased away. I know I have to stay positive, confident, and well. I got up and started my day, and I'm going to copy pictures on a flash drive, and I hope it all works out for me to do this. Thank you, God. 11.27 a.m., I sent Jen the letter I wrote about the petition I filed. Can you read this? 11.54 a.m. I went to look for the phones that had the pictures on. I looked and I'm getting frustrated that I couldn't find them. I had them separate from the paperwork. I looked in a few drawers where I thought I put them. I looked under small pieces of furniture. I looked in closets and jacket pockets. I just couldn't remember where I put them. I said, God, please help me find the phones with the pictures on them. I walked out of my bedroom into the dining room, and I thought, did I put them in the drawer in the corner shelf? I walked over to the shelf, and they were both in there. I said, thank you, dear God. I went to the garage where Madison and her friend, her friend, Tiana, excuse me, were, and I asked her, will you put the pictures on a flash drive of the cemetery? I need to get them done soon and send to Aunt Susie. Madison is busy, but said, yes, but I can't right now. I said, all right, when you can, baby, and thank you. See, a little thing. I'm so grateful to you, Madison, and I love you. I felt I needed to lay down to rest. God and my angels be with me. Staying positive draws me closer to God. I have to know that. I will remember that. 1.16 p.m., Jen replied back. She wrote, yes, I can read it. I will type the letter up and post it shortly. I wrote, all right, when you get time, hope your day is good. 2.01 p.m., Jen wrote, how does this sound? I thought I would make a post to let everyone know what has been going on recently with the case about the cemetery. It has me frustrated seeing my aunt continuing to go through this. She wrote, recently my aunt wrote a letter to the Attorney General of beep in regards to the cemetery in beep beep where there was flooding years ago that moved headstones. She received a letter back letting you know that the city of beep stated they did not know her. She was able to reply back with proof that the city did know her. She sent them a packet with receipts, photos, and copies of court documents. She also asked them to have someone contact her to let her explain her story. But instead, she receives a reply back from the Attorney General office saying, they do not feel there is anything they can do. And I want to know why. She has so much proof of what has happened and no one will listen. This is unfair to her, her granddaughter, and to all the little angels and their families that are affected by this. And a lot of them may not know that this has even happened. I wrote, that sounds perfect. Yes, sounds good, baby. Jen wrote, all right, I'm going to post it. I wrote, all right, and thank you for all your help. Jen wrote, it's posted. 5.11 p.m. summer in. Beep said that when her family was going through what they went through and they reached out like this, nothing was done until they started a podcast. So that's encouraging. 5.28 p.m. Susie wrote, all right, I saw what Jen put out there. 
I wrote. I read it too. Hopefully someone will read and listen. Encouraging words from Summer. I was happy to read that too. We got to get loud. We got to tell everyone. Susie wrote yes, and we are doing that very soon. I wrote yes, I can't wait. And I don't know what Summer's family went through, but it must be a sign for her to say they got nothing done until they got it to a podcast. Susie wrote, do you think it was similar to what you were going through? I wrote, yes, because when she first found the file, she said there were so many similarities to what her family went through. Susie wrote, I will call you later tonight. I need you to do something. I wrote, all right. While I waited for Susie to get off work, I worked on catching up on the day in the timeline. I'm curious about what she needs me to do, but I will wait. 7.56 p.m., Susie called. She asked me to do something, but it was with help for setting up the podcast. I wasn't sure how to do it, so Madison helped me set it up. And thank you, baby. It was a link on Google Chrome, freeconferencecall.com. Susie was uh, and I were on the phone for about two and hours and a half. We talked of Jen's post, and we talked of what she is going to do. She asked, did you mess with the pictures? I said, I did get the phones out that the pictures are on, but I wasn't able to transfer any to a flash drive yet. She said, all right, we have a little time. I said, all right. She asked me to do a couple things tomorrow to get it done before Monday. I said, all right, let me get paper so I can write them down. I got paper and a pen and started writing down what she told me. 10.01 p.m., Susie asked me to start reading your timeline as if it was on a podcast. Time yourself for 45 minutes, then stop and see how far in the timeline you get. I said, all right. She said, listen to a podcast. Do you have a podcast app or Pandora? I said, I don't know. Let me look. I looked and read them off to her of what apps I do have. I did have a podcast and Pandora app on my screen. We went into a podcast and she said, listen to one tomorrow and see how they sound on there. I said, all right. Susie said, we will have a practice podcast session Monday to see how you do and what your voice will sound like, to see if you have to turn the volume down or whatever, to get it set up for you and your voice. I said, all right, and I'm getting excited to get this done, but I do know I need to get it done right. She said, over the weekend, write an introduction. I said, all right, how would I start it? Like, hi? Welcome to Emily's podcast. I have a story for you and I feel I could help so many by putting this out there. She said, yeah, that sounds good. I said, will you help me with it, right? She said, yes, I'm in it for the long haul with you. I said, all right, thank you, Susie. She said, you're welcome. She said, make sure you put it in that introduction, a tribute to all little angels. I said, oh, all right. I said, I will copy the legal brief I had typed out and get the pictures on a flash drive too. Susie said, all right, I have homework to do and so do you. I said, yes, I do. She said, now I have a question. Are you ready to do this? Because it could get so busy with messages, doing the podcast, answering messages, that kind of stuff. Are you ready to get it out there? I said, yes, I'm ready. She said, if ever there comes a time you need to stop, you have to let me know and we can take a break. I said, I will. Yes, I would. And there may come that time. But for right now, I'm ready to get it out there, put it out there, and let the public decide. The phone disconnected. 10.34 p.m., Susie called back. We talked for about another hour, and when we were done covering everything we needed to get done, we were so tired, but we were excited to get started, get the cemetery fixed, and let the people know. Thank you, dear God. 11.30 p.m., I wrote and read it to Susie.
This is by God and my angel's grace that I am here. And now I know God has brought me to this at this time to make me strong enough to get it done. Yes, Susie, I am ready. 11.32 p.m., we said goodnight. I got ready for bed. I said my prayers, and it didn't take me long to fall asleep. Thank you, dear God. Thank you, my angels. July 22nd, 2022. I mentioned to Madison what we need to get done before Monday. She offered to help when she got a little time, and I know she will, with no doubt. Thank you, God, for this day, my babies, all of them, my family and friends, and bless us to be well and protect us from evil. And I really feel someone needs to put a post up of how everyone sees the matter at hand, but the folks of beep. 7.03 p.m. I sent Susie a message. I sent her the introduction I wrote to see what she thinks. I wrote 7.22.2022, written at 6.51 p.m. Introduction Podcast. And of course, I didn't know how to start it, so I wrote hello, good day, hi, and we could choose one. Let me introduce myself. I'm Emily at Emily's Podcast. I have a story to tell and I need you to listen. I'm asking you to listen. They don't have a voice. I do. You do. We do. Let's get this fixed for the angels because that's what this is, a tribute to all little angels. I wrote, what do you think of this or should I change anything? The question mark is for whichever one we choose. Let me know. No rush. I listened to a little bit of a podcast earlier. Now I have a few minutes and ideas started popping in my mind. So this is what I came up with. 7.06 p.m. I messaged Jen. I wrote, no hurry. I know you may be busy, but I need an introduction for a podcast. The question marks are either one or pick one, whichever one you think sounds good. What do you think about this? Let me know when you can. And I love you, baby. And I sent what I wrote, what I had just read to send to Susie, and I read to you. Jen wrote, I will look at it after we get dinner. I wrote, yes, that's fine. 7.10 p.m., Susie called. She called to talk about the message, and we changed the introduction. Changed Introduction Podcast. Hello, let me introduce myself. I'm Emily. This is my podcast. I would like to tell you a story. I'm asking you to listen and you may find or someone you know may be going through a similar situation. I have been going back and forth with the city over a cemetery issue and water does move headstones. They don't have a voice but I do, you do, we do. Let's get this fixed because that's what this is, a tribute to all little angels. Susie and I talked about what I did today and she asked if we could work on it tomorrow evening. And of course we can. She helped me set up my Google Chrome, Chrome icon on the bottom bar of my computer so I can just click on the icon instead of searching for it every time I get on. Thank you, Susie, for all your help. While I'm on the phone with Susie, I messaged Jen. 7.28 p.m., I sent Jen a message. I wrote, I've changed some. Let me know what to add or not. I sent the introduction with the changes. Susie and I talked about at the beginning of every meeting on the podcast, I tell the public what the episode is. Like to start, tell them part one, episode one. Then the second episode, start with that, part one, episode two. Susie then asked, now we have to think about how many episodes we want to do in a week. I said, all right, let me start with this introduction and read the 45 minutes and see how far I get. Then we will know. Susie said, yes, all right. 
I said, I'm waiting to see what Madison and her friend are going to do so I can read quietly and see how far I get. Susie said, all right. We finished up and let each other go. And thank you again, Susie. 8.25 p.m., Jen wrote, I like that just how you have it. 8.55 p.m., which one, the first one or the changed one? Jen wrote, the changed one. I wrote, all right, and thank you, baby. It's 9.05 p.m. I'm going to read my introduction with the first part of my story and get the time frame. And I did. I'm so proud of myself for the first try. The voice sounds a little scratchy. And then after the volume was adjusted, it sounds great. Yay! I listen to it a few more times, and then I want to see what Susie says. 9.20 p.m., Susie called back. We only talked for about 15 minutes, but she said, you did good. I said, thank you. We are one step closer. She said, yes, we are. We didn't talk long and hung up. 10.31 p.m., I messaged Susie. I wrote, I just got done reading. I'm in May 2017. Needs editing, of course. Susie wrote, all right. Susie and I had talked about when the second part started, and at the time, she asked me that. I didn't know right offhand, so I will look to see. July 23rd, 2022. Today, I spent the afternoon editing my timeline. I did notice, as any writer does, I am writing in the present time, but writing in past tense. But when I turned it on, I saw 12.08 p.m. And I know he's watching over me. He is truly my angel. Thank you. Beep. 1.32 p.m., Madison and I went to the cemetery, you know, to check things out. I took pictures. 2.16 p.m., I feel sick. I'm hurt. Someone help. Then I saw 222 on my phone, and I needed to see that because I'm not giving up. I got a tear in my eye, and I said, I'm not giving up, babies. And I know at times I get frustrated, but no way will I give up on this. 7.01 p.m., Susie called. We talked for about 50 minutes, and we had some last-minute loose ends to tie up, but we got it done. We had to hang up, so Susie called me back. 8.04 p.m., she asked me if I was sure I was ready for this. She asked me several times, and I keep telling her, I am. 8.32 p.m., Madison called me, so I had to let Susie go until I was done talking with Madison. 8.41 p.m., I called Susie back, and we finished talking for the night. Good night, Susie, and thank you for all your help. We are on our way. After I hung up, I went back to see when the second part started. 9.42 p.m., I sent Susie a message. I wrote, part two starts at date, March 29, 2020. Susie wrote, all right, thank you. July 24, 2022, 12.15 a.m., Lisa called. We talked a little over an hour. We were catching up. When we don't talk for a few days, it gives us something to talk about. 11.33 a.m., Patty called, and I missed her call. 11.36 a.m., I wrote Patty a message. I wrote, I will call you when I get home. Love you and have a good day. 3.48 p.m., I called Patty. She didn't answer. 4.09 p.m., I called Lisa. We only talked for about 20 minutes. Her aunt had beeped in, so we hung up. I did tell her, though, about the podcast, and she seems happy for us. 8.32 p.m., I messaged Susie. I wrote, Sister, I didn't get anything done today. We went to clean a house, and when we got back, I think because of the heat, I fell asleep. I'm going to do the pictures later or tomorrow morning to get that done so I can get that in the mail. I'm sorry. I'm beat. I love you and thank you for everything. 
Susie wrote, it's all right, I understand, and I love you lots. I wrote, thank you. 8.45 p.m., I sent Susie a picture of a red cardinal sitting on the fence. I wrote, look who's on the fence. Susie wrote, awesome. 9.02 p.m., Zoe called and wanted to come spend the night. Madison and I left to go pick her up, and as we left her mom's driveway driving down the street, Madison said, look at that shooting star. Zoe and I looked and we all saw a shooting star. I made a wish. We got back home safely and got ready for bed. I have a lot to be grateful for, and I certainly am grateful. Thank you. July 25th, 2022 this morning oh no i don't know why i'm feeling like this for some reason when i woke up this morning i feel nervous i feel doubtful when madison woke up i said whoo baby i don't know what's going on but i feel a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach i feel like something is wrong i just don't know what it is madison said are you okay i said i hope so I went in the bedroom to talk to God and my angel. After I talked with them, I had to get out of the house to break this feeling. It worked. The feeling left me and I felt good the rest of the day. Thank you, dear God and my angels. I worked on the pictures the rest of the evening until Susie called. 7.27 p.m., Susie wrote, hey there. I wrote, hey sister. She wrote, were you able to get it recorded? I will call you in a little while after I find something to eat. I wrote, what are you doing? I am getting the pictures ready. No, no recording yet. I didn't do anything yesterday. And this morning I had some errands to do. And when I got back, I'm getting pictures together. I found more evidence and I have written it all down so I don't forget it. Susie wrote, all right. I wrote, all right, Susie wrote, I will call you in a little bit. 8 p.m., Susie called. We talked for about 15 minutes. She has some other things to get done, and I am working on the pictures, so we didn't talk long. We are both excited about the recording, though. July 26, 2022. I feel so much better this morning than yesterday morning, and thank you, God, for that. I worked on the pictures and I got them in order, a new order. I went back through them to see if there are any more differences I could find in pictures. And I'm so amazed how many differences in same, the same pictures in different pictures you can find if you just look. 8.29 p.m. I'm done with the pictures. So much work and the work will be so worth it. Did they even bother to look? In fact, Susie said that before in conversation. I wonder if any of them even looked at the pictures, if they even went out to the cemetery to check any of it out. I said, I don't know, but probably not. 8.30 p.m., Susie wrote, what did you get done today? I wrote, I am getting my phone to message you and to tell you I just got done with the pictures and the picture description. How weird. Thanks for checking on me. Did you find out if we can download pictures? Susie wrote, I will check in a little bit. I just finished eating. I wrote, all right. 9.02 p.m., Susie called. She said, we can upload the pictures and the overlay picture. I said, really? She said, yes, she sounds excited and I am too. We didn't talk long, but I am happy to hear we can upload the pictures and the overlay picture. That makes me excited. I'm so proud of Susie and of myself too. July 27, 2022. This morning when I woke up, I feel positive about doing all of this. I'm excited and I know I have to do this to get it done and I will. I worked on the picture some more, and I worked on editing the timeline some more. If it's worth working for, work for it. 4.37 p.m. when Madison came in from work, we went to the cemetery. We visit with both the angels, and yes, I took pictures. 8.05 p.m. 
Susie sent a message. She wrote, give me a few minutes and I will call you. I, I wrote, all right, just got done putting the pictures on the flash drive. So give me a few minutes to get home. Susie wrote, all right. 8.58 p.m., Susie wrote, are you home? I wrote, yes, I just walked in the door. I wrote, I'll call you in a few minutes. Susie wrote, all right. 9.09 p.m., I called Susie. I could only check in with her and we only had a few minutes on the phone, but she said she would call me back. When she called back, we listened to the recording she deleted the recording we didn't need. She checked to make sure everything is in working order and we are so proud that it is. I told her I will copy the last bit of the information for the description of the pictures and I will put it all in an envelope and mail it in the morning. Susie said, all right, we are doing this. I said, yes, yes we are. And we are not stopping there either. We are going to keep moving with this podcast to draft laws about this. Susie said, yes, that's some great ideas. And yes, we are. 9.28 p.m. We listened to the introduction again. Susie said, it gives me chills. I said, it did? She said, yes. And it's good the way it is. I said, all right. Thank you. And I am so proud. Susie said, now, after you do the first episode, let them know if they have any questions or comments, they can send it to your email. I said, all right, thank you for reminding me of that. She said, you don't have to tell me after every them after every episode, but maybe every other one. I said, all right, and I'm so happy she's on my side. We talked a little longer and hung up. I'm so grateful for my sister, Susie. I asked Susie for her address so I have it and don't have to look for it to send her the packet of pictures and a flash drive. She gave it to me. I said, oh, one more thing. After each episode, let's post the pictures instead of the people waiting until the end of the story and they have to go to look back to find them. Susie said, yes, we will. I said, all right, because I think that will be better for the listeners and the viewers of the pictures. She agrees. We finished shortly after and Susie and I hung up. It was like a sigh of relief. I have another step done and I'm getting closer to telling Megan's story. 8.40 p.m. I asked Madison to upload the books on my Google Chrome, Chrome tablet, excuse me. She did. And thank you, Madison. Thank you, dear God. Thank you, my angels. July 28, 2022. This morning, I'm raring to go. I got ready to mail the packet to Susie. 11.39 a.m., I mailed the pictures and flash drive packet. 12.28 p.m., I sent Susie a picture of the receipt, and I wrote, by 6 p.m. tomorrow. Susie wrote, all right. I wrote, let me know if you get it at that time, because if not, I get a refund. One step closer, sister. I love you and thank you so much. Susie wrote, all right, I will. I know I have to stay positive. I know I have to stay hopeful. And I know God is on my side. I know my angels are too. 4.47 p.m., Susie sent me a picture of a cardinal. I wrote, that will work. We need a picture of the cover page of our podcast. I believe that one will work. And I'm so excited to get started. Oh my gosh. Four more days, Susie said last night, if we don't get the first episode up on Monday, we will Tuesday for sure. I'm ready, Susie. Thank you, God. July 29th, 2022. My morning seems to be so much easier to get out of bed and face the day. I know what I need to do and I will get it done. And thank you for all your help. 1.02 p.m. I sent Susie a message. I wrote, Susie, on my Google Chrome, I'm reading, but a lot of it didn't get edited. I think because I edited it on my laptop and not on my Chromebook, 
I tried to record, but I need you when you get time to go and delete that recording I did today. I have to start again. Save the introduction, though. 108 p.m., Susie wrote, I will call you later. You can delete the recording that you don't want. Just right click on the right button on the mouse at that recording. I wrote, all right, thank you. Susie wrote, if you want me to delete it, I will tonight. I wrote, I will try with instructions, but if I can't get it, you will have to. Susie wrote, all right. 1.30 p.m., I wrote, I deleted it, doing another practice. Susie wrote, all right. 3.52 p.m., Susie wrote, I got your mail today, a few minutes ago. I wrote, oh good, I'm trying to record. I've had a try a few different times, but when I record for 18 minutes, it sound crackly. Call me later after work, and thank you, sister. Susie wrote, all right, I will. I practiced off and on this afternoon to re record and to get it right. I know it won't be perfect, although I wish it could be, but I will get it as close as I can. 7.39 p.m., Susie wrote, I will call you soon. I wrote, all right, I will call you as soon as I get home, not too long. Susie wrote, all right. 8.47 p.m., I called Susie. We were only able to talk this time for about five minutes. She is busy, but she will call me back. Susie is helping me set up the podcast, and I need to do something to get the story out in the public, because obviously no one here is going to help. 9.05 p.m., Susie called. She called to have me do something on the computer, and after I did, we hung up. We were working on the computer, and I lost Susie on the camera sharing a screen. 9.10 p.m., I called Susie. We only talked for about five minutes. Susie said, as soon as I get everything set up, I will call you. I said, all right. 9.21 p.m., Susie called. We talked for about 20 minutes. She told me what she has done so I could record and save the recording of my timeline. After we hung up, I worked and practiced recording until 11.30 p.m. When I was finished, I sat here for a minute thinking, and I wish I could just start reading for an hour and it will be done right. I went to bed. Have a good night. July 30th, 2022. When I woke up and after I thanked God for waking me up, I was anxious about getting the recording done. 11.22 a.m. I have been going back and forth this morning about how to read the timeline on the podcast. I asked myself, should I put it on in my own words or should I read it as it is written in the timeline? I prayed for the answer. I finished cleaning before I got started. I'm standing in the kitchen and I was thinking about how to read it out and it came to me. Read it how you have it written. I took a deep breath and I started to cry. I took a few more deep breaths and I looked up and said, thank you. I stood there a few minutes and thought, it is better to read it off as it, I have it written. Because what if I'm telling the story and I forget to put something in or forget a date? So yes, I agree. Read it, it as it is written. 12.32 p.m., I called Susie. We were only able to talk for a few minutes. 12.33 p.m., I sent Susie two pictures of the recording. 2.26 p.m., I did finish the first part, episode one. After I was done, I did ask the audience to be kind with their comments and questions. I left an email to, for them to send to me. I was excited and felt proud of myself for getting it done. I asked Susie, after episode one and two, we will need to upload the pictures for that area of the story. Susie said, we will. 9.27 p.m., Susie sent a message. She wrote, I'm sorry, I fell asleep. We can do it tomorrow. I wrote, yes, that's fine. I'm going to try to load another one. 
I'm not sure if I'm doing it right, but you can check tomorrow or whenever you want to look. Susie wrote, all right. I worked on the recording and loading them. I believe just the practice. I worked on it until I went to bed. Thank you, dear God. July 31st, 2022. Wow. This morning I'm having a feeling, not a doubt feeling, but a self-doubt of date or year I may have made a mistake on. The year 2013 for some reason. I will have to double check. 2 o'clock p.m. I sent Susie a message. I wrote, if you haven't watched or listened to any episodes yet, let me know if I have to start over. And thank you. Susie wrote, all right. I wrote, listen closely to the dates and any mistakes in them, okay? 2.08 p.m. I messaged Jen. I wrote, seriously, when you read my story, have you or did you read or find any mistakes in dates, years, anything? Let me know when you get a chance. 2.13 p.m. Susie called. We only talked for about six minutes. I asked her the same thing I asked Jen. She said the same thing. 2.18 p.m. Jen wrote, no, never. You have always been good about the dates. I wrote, just double checking. I'm going to start recording my story and want to make sure all of it is good. And thank you, Jen. 3.36 p.m. Jen wrote, you are welcome. 7.08 p.m. Susie called. We only talked for about six minutes. We call each other when we are working on the podcast because sometimes we lose each other on the video. I worked on another recording. 7.55 p.m. I called Susie. We talked for about 20 minutes and this time she was helping me create the page at my end. After she was done fine-tuning everything, she called me back and we talked for about 20 minutes. 8.32 p.m., Susie messaged. She wrote, pictures are uploaded to my computer. 9.15 p.m., I wrote, all right, I got it. It said on the bottom of the recording screen that I recorded for 46 minutes but when I stopped recording, it was only 31 minutes and 59 seconds. I'm going to listen, then we will transfer. 9.50 p.m., I wrote, I just re-listened to it. Not bad at all. Go ahead and send it over if you like it. 9.51 p.m., Susie wrote, I had put it on my computer away for the night because I didn't think you would have it ready by 11. So I will go ahead and we will do that first thing tomorrow evening. And then we will continue from there, okay? We did get quite a bit done this evening. It's moving right along. August 1st, 2022. You know, the more and more I think about the response from the city of beep about their actions after I had to prove to them they didn't know me, beep. He had replied, he hasn't heard from me since the day of the digging, November 26, 2019. After a good long thought about that, how do I, how does anyone trust anyone that treats someone the way they did me? I do not trust them. So why would I call them people for anything? I practice and practice recording. Finally, I did get 43 minutes recording, recorded, and I was very proud of myself for getting that far. 1.20 p.m., Madison and I went to the cemetery. Madison thought we hadn't been out there in a week, but it had been a, only a few days. Everything seems fine. The lawn service is mowing the grass. They run over the flowers. There are fake flower petals all over the ground. It's a mess. And you know, I took pictures. 5.37 p.m., I sent Susie a message. I wrote, I did another episode, 40 minutes and 33 seconds. 
the first part is 34 minutes long and the next part is seven minutes long. Can you merge the recording? I finished it up with pictures to view, but we will listen later. 5.41 p.m., Susie wrote, all right. I wrote, I re-listened, but it didn't sound good, so I deleted it. Trying again. I'm going to get it, though. As soon as I get it done, I will call you after you get off work, of course, just so I don't have any interruptions. I love you. I can't wait for you to hear it. Susie wrote, all right. 8.28 p.m., I sent Susie a message. I wrote, I'm done. I'm calling you. 8.30 p.m., I called Susie. It was only a seven-minute phone call, but I needed her help. 9.18 p.m., Susie called. She only talked for about two minutes. She wanted to let me know she will call me back. 10.03 p.m., I wrote to Susie. I just finished another episode, my first try, and I did it. It's 31 minutes and 14 seconds long. It shows up longer when you are recording, but then it shortens time after you click pause. 10.09 p.m., Susie wrote, All right, I'm listening to part one, episode one, right now. 10.32 p.m., I called Susie to let her know I was done recording so she could listen to it. We listened, and it sounds good. 10.37 p.m., Susie wrote, I lost you. I wrote, lost you. Wednesday, we can download pictures, three, four, and five, after episode two. Susie wrote, all right, I will talk to you then, and I love you lots. I wrote, all right, then we will put in the pictures where they belong, and as you said, we can write a comment after the picture, fill in the description for each one. All right? Susie message. She wrote, you are awesome. I wrote, are you sure? Are you positive? Will it be all right to air? And honestly, did I do good? Susie wrote, it sounds great. And yes, it will air. Yes, you did awesome. I wrote, all right, and thank you because I was nervous. Susie wrote, it gave me goosebumps. I mean, it really is great. You are welcome. I wrote, all right, good. Do you think it will keep the listeners listening? Susie wrote, yes. Thank you, Susie, for all your help. August 2nd, 2022. I'm feeling really good. I'm proud of myself for the podcast so far. I recorded more. And they sound good to me, but I will wait to see what Susie says about it. Today, they are to clean the flowers off the cemetery, and I hope they pick up the flower petals the mowers mowed over. We didn't take Megan and Wyatt flowers off this time, because usually I put the old flowers from their headstone and under the tree. After they remove them, I take Megan and flowers, Megan and Wyatt's flowers, and I pull off the other babies. I pulled them, I put them on the other babies' headstones. Excuse me. I told Madison this time I'm not going to do that. I want to see how many people come out here. We will see. 8.40 p.m., Susie wrote, Are you busy? I wrote, No. 8.41 p.m., Susie called. We talked for about 44 minutes. She wanted to run by me about changing our podcast site. I told her, Susie, I'm the recorder. You are the engineer. You have to do what you think is right. She said, all right. I think we will use the other site. It seems as though it has more to offer. I said, all right. She sent three pictures of the new site, and I'm going to leave that entirely up to her. We worked on the other side for a little while, and then we said goodnight. August 3rd, 2022. Wow. This morning, after Madison left for work, I tried and tried all afternoon to get an episode recorded. I tried, and it kept messing up. I would stutter my words, but I keep trying. 9-11 a.m., Patty called. She's home from, beep, 
visiting her grand boys. She wants to catch up. And I told her where and what I've been doing. She said, wow, Em, I'm proud of you. You sound great. You have been busy. We need to get going on books too. I said, oh, I know, and we will. But right now, I have got to get this timeline recorded. Patty said, I hope you will connect the cloud so I can listen. Kind of edited over the airways. I said, I hope we can too. She said, I hope we can, really am. I said, we will have to send you the link as soon as it's done. I will have to send the link to the cemetery page, my Facebook, and after 60 days, it goes on iHeartRadio. Patty said, wow, Em. I said, I called you a couple times, but you didn't answer, so I'm just trying to get done what I can. I have to. We talked a little longer and hung up. 9.57 a.m., I sent Susie a message. I wrote, Susie, I'm thinking of changing the introduction. Same wording, but at the end, I'm going to let them know there will be pictures posted and an overlay pictures to keep them interested. Now, I have used names, but I have to take the city of beep out in beep, beep, beep. It could become liability. That should only be said when in a lawyer's office. So work on what you need to do. I'm going to work on some changes, even if I have to start again. But now it may get better because of the practice. What do you think? Susie wrote, all right, I received an email. So the 10 hours is a month. If we go over, we only pay $3 for an hour. The other I'm checking on now to see if there's a way we can upload existing record recorded files. So I will let you know and I will talk to you later. I wrote, I've used first names, plenty of names the same, but no last names. And the line that says the cemetery in beep, beep, I have to take out. I will work on the changes of the file already done so they will be done correctly. We can't be sued trying to tell the story. Susie agrees. I wrote, okay, I'm deleting what I have to change in the introduction, then to change about beep, beep, find out what you can. 10.01 a.m., Susie wrote, all right, I will. I've gotten an email sent back to them, so if you wouldn't mind starting over again, I would. I will help you all the way through this until the end. I think is going to be easier for us to use for you to display those pictures as we go. I will talk to you later. I wrote, no, I don't mind doing it again. This is our practice run. Now we will get it right. Talk to you later. Susie wrote, it has been a great practice run and we are getting good and now a better way. I wrote yes, and we will get it, and it will be close to perfect without incriminating anyone right now. Susie wrote exactly. 11.59 a.m., I wrote to Susie, delete them recordings on beep. If they didn't delete when I deleted, I'm recording. Susie wrote, all right, finally. 3.44 p.m. I recorded an episode, 39 minutes long. 5.07 p.m. I wrote to Susie. Okay, I got the first episode done. There's like three places where I fumbled with my words, but will they edit that? 7.55 p.m. Susie wrote, are you busy? I wrote, give me about 10 minutes and I will call you. Susie wrote, all right. 8.56 p.m., Susie called to say she had errands to run, but she would call me as soon as she got home. 9.31 p.m., Susie called. We were on a video call, and she called to let me know how to and what to do to set it up. She showed me how to do the recording, the video for her and I. She showed me how 
step by step. Susie, you are the one that is awesome. After she showed me to do the, how to do the recording, she asked me to practice on it for the next 58 minutes because it's free and she is going to set up the new site. I told her, yeah, I will. After I'm done practicing, I may record the introduction and save it if it sounds good. Susie said, yes, do that. Better yet, after 58 minutes, you call me. I said, all right, that will be about 20 to 11. That's not too late. She said, no, call me when you were done with the 58 minutes. I said, all right. 10.39 p.m., I called Susie. She told me what she did, and she will call me or message me as soon as I'm able to record. I asked her, do you think you will be able to forward the recording episodes already, or do you want me to start over and just record them on beep? She said, you may have to start over, so just start over anyway. I said, all right. There were a few words I fumbled with through this one anyway, so I will redo it. Susie said, all right, and I will let you know when I'm done. I said, all right, and we hung up. 11.11 11 p.m., Susie wrote, the account is set up. I wrote, aw, oh, cool, thank you. Okay, I will start again tomorrow. Susie wrote, yes, for now, start over. I wrote, I will, and oh my gosh, thank you so much. Susie wrote, no problem, and I went to bed, and thank you for this day. Thank you for listening, and remember to stay kind with your words.